Johnny Depp mocks the attempt made by Amber Heard's legal team to annul the jury's verdict to compensate her ex-husband with $10 million, after the exhausting media trial that both lived in June. The actress argues that this sum was excessive, while Depp, in an ironic tone, responded that this amount reflects only the loss he really suffered after she defamed him. Depp's lawyers say there is clear evidence that, as a result of the op-ed published by Amber Heard in the Washington Post in 2018, he lost work opportunities, not appearing in a single studio production until October 2020. That alone, lawyers say, is why she supported the court order to receive the $10 million in damages. In fact, Depp's legal documents refer that one of his representatives negotiated a deal for the sixth installment of Pirates of the Caribbean for $22.5 million just before the op-ed was published and that the project was put on hold despite the fact that the producer, Jerry Bruckheimer really wanted Johnny. Therefore, Johnny Depp scoffed at Amber Heard's request to overturn the jury's verdict as excessive, as the $10 million judgment reflects the loss he actually suffered after she defamed him and with this occasion became persona non grata in the production. How much did Johnny Depp really lose because of Amber Heard's defamation? Even, lawyers say that Johnny proved with experts during the trial that his real loss exceeded $10 million and reached more than $40 million. TMZ revealed Monday that Amber filed legal papers last week alleging that one of the jurors was fraudulently employed. Her legal team says a man was subpoenaed, but someone with the same family name, the man's son, took the subpoena to court and became a juror, and that, her team says, should warrant a new trial. Johnny's team responded. Amber could have objected at the start of the trial, but she didn't, so it's bad luck for her, 